Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. Uh, this is one I picked up at a toy fair uh, quite a few months ago now. Um, and I never did get around to doing a review on it. It is of course the ARC Trooper, the Umbra Operative from Battlefront 2. I do have the Black Series version which I have reviewed as well. But I uh, managed to score this for a pretty decent price. I think it only cost me like 20 or 25 bucks, which... Um, by aftermarket standards, it's uh, that was quite low. I never did get the uh, the other two. What is there? There's the the Lambent Seeker, and there was the uh, the other one, the other Arc Trooper based on Battlefront. Um, but yeah, this one was a must-have. Loved the look of this figure. Uh, loved the the stylings of the uh, the armor, the color scheme. Looks awesome. Photographs well. Yeah. Here's VC-237, so yeah, going back a little bit now, a couple of the other gaming greats figures there, Lando Calrissian from Star Wars Battlefront 2, or the end of Solo, however which way you want to do it, and Shay Vizsla got that re-release, which I did review those, but I, yeah, still love to find the Lambent Seeker and the other one that was re released at the time, I can't, I'm just blanking on the name. So here we have the Umbra Operative clone. Now, Hasbro's definitely made most of this Arc Trooper sculpt, and I don't know whether they'll let up. It's it's a good one. I'm not I'm not even complaining about it. I think it's a good sculpt. Um, and who doesn't love Arc Troopers, honestly? If we get a few more sort of named characters. I wouldn't wouldn't be upset from the Clone Wars. I think we've we've had Echo Fives Jesse. We've had. Uh, just recently, we've had a couple others. We've had Colt. We've had uh, the other two. <laughs> Completely blanking. Anyway, this one is nice. I, I love the color scheme. Love the black, the, the yellow on the black. And getting this in a, you know, taking photos of this in a in a dark space and just having the yellow pop looks really really cool. So weapon wise, he does come with. The uh, blast, smaller blaster rifle here that he's holding. And that does have the peg on the backpack, as is the same with all these other art troopers in this scale. It does come with the longer blaster rifle as well. It's got a little bit of flex to it. Woo so, yeah, we've all got spares. So, that one, yeah, he's not holding that because it's just too wobbly. Um, <laughs> And then two blaster pistols, which sit nicely in the holsters there as well. So, and so one thing I have done with all these arc troopers is with the pauldrons, uh, the pauldron and the backpack are all sort of one piece, and they tend to uh, just sort of flop around a little bit on the figures. They don't sit nicely, so I have actually glued them on. Um, given there's no real reason to take them off, I decided, yep, I'm going to glue them on. Um, just sort of sits, sits a little nice, a lot nicer being exactly where it is. Um, there's no hindrance of articulation there unless you want to put the arms up, but you know, what are the chances of that? Maybe then you can sort of just get a sort of upper move like that. You know, I guess sort of being on, you know, I, I assume sort of being on sort of more stealthy sort of missions, um, they don't need any extra details and you know bits of different armor sort of colors sort of on the on the web on the um on the belts and all that you know there's extra little details they've gone in all black in order to sort of cover now I was when these were announced the umbra operative i thought they were going with the uh, based on the planet umbara and i thought that well that's an error because they're just calling it umbra but umbra is actually a uh a word for for black or dark darkness i can't remember what the origins of the word are but i learned something <laughs> which which is cool so i was no longer i was no longer upset about that he does have a removable helmet and we sort of get standard looking very young tim morrison looking clone trooper head there which is really nice actually it looks good Holds up very nicely. Again, just a very sort of standard looking clone, but you know, why would you need anything else? 
but I love the I love the idea. They could just go with a solid helmet for these guys. Uh, I wish they'd sort of come up with something a little bit better for the uh, regular Phase Twos, just because those helmets are still too big, in my opinion, for those figures. Whereas this one seems to look just right, just just on scale, looks good. But uh, yeah, you know, nice to have the helmets off if you're displaying your your troops sort of just sort of hanging out after a mission and and I do realize I do have you know the sort of gray brown plastic and then one pistol is black they've just sort of been interchanged in the bag with the other with the other clones that I have at the moment so just waiting to be able to get my clone wall shelf set up I don't have a shelf for it but it will be happening very very soon you can check out my my vlog series to sort of see how I'm doing with my uh, room collection. It's been a lot of fun putting it together again. But yeah, really nice clone, great articulation all over. I tend not to go into articulation too often, but every now and then I will. Uh, he's got the sort of the double ball peg in the neck, uh, hinge in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, upper torso. Uh, Ball joints in the thighs, hinges in the knees, swivels in the knees, and we've got the rocker, rocker and hinge in the ankles. So nicely articulated, nice looking figure. I, if I ever see get a chance to grab a second one, I absolutely will because it's just it's always nice to have a couple of each trooper, in my opinion. So anyway, love to hear you guys' thoughts. Please send out in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you for another review very very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.